Right, you guys, got another video here for you. Microsoft Recall is now mandatory on Windows 11 24H2. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Quite a few people online, generally Linux users, are talking about Recall being installed on Windows 11 24H2 as a mandatory dependency. And you can see here the system requirements for Recall is a Copilot Plus PC. And that means if you don't have a Copilot Plus PC, you're not going to have the recall facility uh, functioning properly on your computer. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it won't be installed on there as a service or a dependency. It just means that it's not going to be uh, there to, for you to use on a normal PC. So we'll go through that a little bit later on in the video. But you can see here, by default, snapshots for recall aren't enabled. That's the other thing people need to remember as well. So we can see right here in the Windows settings, privacy and security, recall and snapshots. People are saying that they don't see this on their computer. And the reason why is because you don't have a Copilot Plus PC and it's not going to be on your system. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Now, this is Windows 11 23 H2. And if we open up the terminal window, we'll be able to check to see whether Recall is on here. Now, I know Windows uh, Recall is not working on 23H2, but it is running on 24H2, and you can disable it, and I'll show you that in this video also. So first off, let's go ahead and put this command in here, and this will show us that on 23H2, Recall is not running on the system. You can see right here, it comes up with an error, and it's not here. And that's because they haven't implemented it into 23H2. So let's now go to a 24H2 build, which is a brand new installation, an upgrade from 23H2. And here we have the 24H2 build that we're running right here. It's fully updated and it's Windows 11 Pro. So let's go ahead and go first into the settings window right here. And we're going to go into privacy and security. This is the thing that's confusing a lot of people. They don't see the recall feature here. And that's because you don't have a Copilot Plus PC. So it's not going to be visible for you here. Also, if you're living in the EU, there will be a way of removing it from the computer. Part of the uh, agreement that the EU and Microsoft have come to. There is this area down here that has screenshots and screenshot recording. You can just turn these off, but that's not to do with recall. So another area that I see a lot of people talking about is in the turn windows features on or off. And there's a lot of people telling people to go in here and just uninstall recall. That is not possible because recall is not uninstallable. You can't uninstall recall. That was just a bug on one of the 24H2 releases, you'll see that Recall is not visible in here. And that's because Microsoft don't want you to remove it via this method. They want it running on the system in the background, and they're not going to allow you to basically uninstall it from here or uninstall it at all. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be running as a service and recording everything you do without your knowledge, because that would be... Uh, you know, suable, and they would not do anything like that. I'm pretty sure of it. So what is all the fear and the worry about? There's a lot of people that are fear mongering and stuff, but I think that's just due to the fact that they're trying to get people to switch to Linux a little bit. But let's go through here again and take a look inside the terminal window. So if you have 24H2 and you don't have a Copilot Plus PC and you type in that same command that I showed you before and pushed enter, you will see Recall is running on the system. It is working and it is running on this computer here. You can see state is enabled. Now you could say that what is Microsoft doing with Recall enabled on your computer without your knowledge? And are they harvesting information? Well, if you're that paranoid about Microsoft harvesting information from you, maybe you shouldn't be using Windows at all. But I can tell you it's just running as a service here or as a dependency on this computer. You can disable it and turn it off by using this command. So basically, I'm going to put the same command in here, and I'm just going to change the get-feature-info to disable-feature. So let's go ahead and type that out, because I'm pretty sure you're going to want to turn that feature off anyway. 
By doing this, it just turns the feature off and it will stop it functioning altogether. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see here, disable feature, and it's saying the feature name is called recall. And there you go, it's starting to disable this feature. That feature has now been disabled properly through the terminal window. I'll leave these commands in the video description. And you can see here the state now is disabled. So we know recall is now not running on the system and it has been disabled. And that doesn't necessarily mean recall is uninstalled. It is still on the computer, but it has been disabled. Now you'll get a lot of conspiracy theorists and a lot of Linux users telling you that this is bad and they're still copying all your data all this sort of nonsense, they're not going to be copying your data without your consent. I can tell you that right now. So let's take a look at Group Policy Editor. If you really want to make sure, go into the Group Policy Editor, User Configuration, Administrative Templates, and in Windows Components. You want to navigate down to Windows AI, which will be down the bottom here. So let's go ahead and come down here. And right down here, we can click on this, and you can see turn off saving snapshots for windows and you can see here if you enable this policy setting windows will not be able to save snapshots and users won't be able to search or browse through their history device activity using recall so that's what we want to do we want to make sure we enable that feature and that is pretty much it once you've done that uh, recall is not going to be functional on your system. It's not going to be able to harvest information and send it back to Microsoft. Now, by law, they're not going to be running this in the background like a lot of people are saying uh, without your knowledge and harvesting all that information because that would be a criminal act and they would then be liable for suing. So I don't think they're going to be doing this without your knowledge. So, I mean... Look, this is nothing new. Cortana was on the system. People moaned about Cortana. Then we got Copilot. Now we're talking about Recall. It's just Windows. And uh, if you want to enable the feature again, it will be this command right here. Disable the feature will be this command right here. And to get the information about the feature will be the top one. I'll leave those in the video description for you. But try not to worry too much about... Uh, the recall on this system because it isn't a Copilot Plus PC for one and two you can just disable it the way I showed you right there if it's in your privacy and security settings then you might have a Copilot Plus PC and you can just opt out but by default it's not enabled so you can just turn that off completely the way I just showed you right here as well and if you're still worried about Microsoft harvesting information, then maybe you shouldn't be on a Windows-based system altogether and go and uh, install Linux Mint or one of them other Linux distros that they have. They have hundreds of them. So there you can see now the state has been disabled and the drama is all over and you've got nothing else to worry about. And if you're one of those people that worry about uh, Windows 11 uh, 24H2, then just don't update to it. You can still use Windows 11 23H2 right up until November 10th, 2026. So stop forcing updates and update into the very latest version right away. You can still use 23H2 up until 2026. So you've got no drama. You don't have to worry about it too much. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.